the Washington football team is going to release Alex Smith. Uh, do you think he would be a better option for the 49ers than Teddy Bridgewater? And do you think the Niners can get Alex Smith? Yes, he would be a better option. I don't know if he wants to sign with the 49ers again. That's the thing. He may have bad feelings towards Parag, Jed York. A lot of those same people are still there. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if he wants to sign with the 49ers again. But I do think that Alex Smith is a smart guy and he knows that well that he won't be for a long time in this league. He wants I think he's the ultimate play. bridge quarterback in the I'm, NFL. But he is I do think that he is the greatest alternative as an as a bridge quarterback right now. He proved himself as a bridge quarterback before. So Yeah. Because not only he wins and he develops the guy underneath him. I mean, who else yep. does that? Nobody. He developed Colin Kaepernick, helped, helped develop Patrick Mahomes all while winning. I mean, he hasn't had a losing season since like 2010 or something. Yep. Um, yeah. So and compare him to, to Jimmy Garoppolo, makes fewer mistakes, turns the ball over less, even more mobile, even though he's had like a reconstructed leg, um, smarter makes quicker, better decisions, uh, wins just as much cheaper, much cheaper. Yep. And I Alex Smith that, would be the ultimate bridge. I think he is a better leader than Jimmy is. Right? No so, question about it. So I, I mean, it would be a great story if they can get Alex Smith. Yeah, yeah. He can teach our new quarterback uh, some things about leadership. Yes. Can Jimmy do that, I don't mind. Nah, how, did Jimmy Garoppolo help C.J. Beathard improve? Did C.J. Beathard – was being C. exposed C. to Jimmy Garoppolo. Did that help him at all? No. CJ Better was worst this season. <laughs> I mean, you can see it with every uh, Taylor. Look at Taylor Heineke. That guy played with, uh, was around Alex Smith for a little bit. He's, he, he looked pretty good. I think Alex Smith would be great. Here's the thing with Alex Smith, though. I think he's going to be in demand. I think teams are going to look at him as a potential starter. Uh, there's First of all, there's Jacksonville. They wouldn't look at him as a starter. They'd look at him as a bridge or not a bridge, just a straight up backup for Trevor Lawrence. But yeah. Alex Smith played for Urban Meyer in college. They have a ton of cap space, no taxes in, in Florida. That might be appealing. But I think the, the number, the one I'm looking at, the dark horse here, is the Patriots. They need a quarterback as much as any team in the league. And no, they're not connected to anyone. I think Alex Smith kind of fits what they look for. He's a game manager. He doesn't turn the ball over very much. He's extremely smart. He's a veteran. He's a leader. He thrives on the short passes over the middle. All they got to do. If they sign him, that allows them to use their first round pick on not a quarterback. They could take Kyle Pitts, someone like that. Alex Smith to the Patriots. I think that's something that's that could happen. Yeah, that can happen. And uh, it is a win win uh, signing because uh, working with Bill Belichick, I do think that it is a great thing for a quarterback. Uh, if, if Alex Smith still wants uh, to get some new experiences, develop himself, I think that's the best place to do that. Yeah, I think it would be a great way for him to end his career. Does he really yeah. want to come back to the Niners, a place that really disrespected him for the first six years of his career, where he got booed, where he got injured, uh, where he got blamed, and then come back and then get replaced all over again? This guy would happen all over again. Or, or go to New England and go out with some dignity on a good team, maybe win some playoff games. That's what I would yep. do if I were him. Yep. You know. That's for sure. How many times do you need to get replaced on the 49ers? <laughs>